Hey there, are you ready for our next riveting experience? Well, buckle up, the fun and excitement is about to begin. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you, thanks for stopping by. I'm uh, really looking forward to this video. So in this video, I catch my personal best. It's a 20 inch fish and for some of you, you're gonna say, well, that's a Tuesday, Pat. Well, for me, that's a big fish. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. So I'm just thrilled with it. Um, so I'm on Lake Sawyer, small little lake here in Washington state. I doubt it's jam packed full of big fish, but in this case, I caught a big fish. So uh, I'm really thrilled with that. Uh, so along with this, we get some bonus trend setting fashion. So uh, you're gonna love this. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna take off like wildfire. But stick around for that. It's going to be great and enjoy the content. Okay, well, here I am on Lake Sawyer, and I always start out the, uh, the day using an ultralight combination. I don't know why I do this because I always catch small fish doing it. It's a really, it's an ultralight rod. It's like a seven foot ultralight rod, which makes it the equivalent of a wet noodle. <laughs> you can see here when I got the fish on there how much it bends uh, down near the shaft. <clears throat> Uh, so it, it is quite exciting to fight these fish uh, with that with that light combination. But this is only a 10 inch fish, but he's giving it all he's got. And um, I don't even bother getting the net and I don't even show him to the camera. But he is like a 10 or 12 inch fish. He's not very big. And uh, the problem is, is that he swallowed that hook way down in there. So it took me quite a bit of time to uh, to get that hook out of there, mostly because um, it, the hook kept rotating whenever I get the pliers on it. I couldn't get the pliers on it at the right angle to, to get it out. And once I did, it just popped right out. And I think the fish was fine. And I think a lot of people just get really frustrated when they have a situation like this. They just yank it and it kills the fish. And I, I was not going to kill this fish. And there you go. I popped it out. When I dropped him in, he swam off and seemed happy as a clam. About this time, my buddy Daryl showed up and we fished some docks and um, other things along the shore there. And I was doing a little bit of drop shotting. We weren't catching any fish. Uh, and I realized, man, it's getting cold. And the wind had picked up and I realized I wasn't uh, dressed properly. And I'm 20 minutes drive from home, so I'm going to make do with what I got. And I thought I had a hat back here in my, my bin, but I'm rummaging around in there and there, there is no hat. I have absolutely nothing except for I have a sham wow that looks pretty warm about now. And so this is where the the uh, the stunning new fashion revelation comes into being. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're going to get to watch this for the entire rest of the video. <laughs> Yeah, I, look, I don't even put my Seahawks hat on properly. I, I got the logo in the back. You moron. Okay, anyway, um, now if you put your strap down, Pat, it'll hold it up against your ears. It'll be a lot more comfortable. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's that's what we got. This is uh, the attire for the rest of the video. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to apologize here. Uh, aside from my uh, ridiculous headwear, I also managed to delete one of the fish that I caught. So I had caught a 14 inch, maybe 15 inch, uh, I think it was 14 inches, uh, smallmouth bass trolling on my way to this end of the lake. And I caught it on a lipless crankbait in about 50 feet of water. I was over 50 feet of water. Now the lipless crankbait is only going down about 10 or 12 feet, but I caught this smallmouth way out there, and I was just cutting across the one portion of the lake to get to this area, which is a lot a, a shallow flat. And I was planning on fishing this because it's warm, you know, or I assumed the water would be warmer. Um, it, it wasn't particularly warmer, but so here I am getting out some dinky little lure again, and I'm going to cast in this shallow water, instead of actually exploring that pattern that uh, I caught a fish on. And yeah, I wasted a lot of time doing that. I went back in another section of the lake and spent a lot of time doing it, all a waste of time. The only positive thing was, look here, I, I see some uh, monofilament hanging from a tree and I thought, oh, I should get that out of there. And uh, when I got up close to it, I realized, oh, there's a lure on the other end of it. Uh, yeah, it's a frog. And that frog had been in that tree for quite a while because he's 
close to dry rot. But anyway, I did keep it. I will use it. And I nearly lost a rot or two in the trees while I'm doing it. But, you know, that's par for the course. Oh, boy. So here I am continuing to ignore the fact that I caught a bass in deeper water trolling. And I'm fiddle farting around with a drop shot. And uh, I saw some fish on the live scope swimming around down there. They didn't look like very big fish, but they were acting like they were actively feeding. So I thought, well, let's see what those things are. So uh, Daryl has this aversion to drop shot because he doesn't catch a lot of fish with it. And uh, so I was talking to him about saying, hey, well, I'm, I see some fish down here. I'm going to uh, hit him with a drop shot. And gosh, it wasn't three minutes into this I caught that first trout I said well the fish I saw must have been trout and uh I this is the one time I use scent is on a drop shot I usually put a little scent on there so the fish can walk you know swim up to it and give it a sniff and then bite it um and uh it apparently works because here I got another trout look look at the size of this massive beast <laughs> How, what am I doing? What am I wasting my time here for? <laughs> oh, so yeah, not a very big fish, but you know, a little tug on the line after an hour's worth of farting around in this, in the backside of this lake. And then, oh, I caught another fish. Uh, this one actually turned out to be a perch and, uh, yeah, enough's enough. I, <laughs> I uh, I let I let Daryl know I caught a perch, and uh, he, this is about the time he said, "Dude, I'm out of time. I gotta go." Uh, he's got two young kids, so uh, he has to. He has a lot of family uh, requirements, so he had to split. <clears throat> so I wrapped this up with the the whole drop shotting thing, and um, it was at this point that I actually had enough wherewithal to say, "Well, I caught a fish trolling earlier. Let me try that again." So yeah, so I'm, I'm dragging this lipless crank paint in probably 25 feet of water uh, outside the weed bed. I'm not expecting to catch anything because uh, it's really cold water. And what the, something grabbed my line. <laughs> and I saw it jump out of the water. Uh, sorry for all the water on the lens, but he, I did see him jump out of the water. And I said, man, that's a, that's a big fish. I thought it was like a trout or something. It was huge. And uh I did have the wherewithal at this point to tell my GoPro to come on. Holy hell, I don't know what this is, but it is big. This is a big, big fish. This would be a personal best smallmouth. That's what this is. Holy That's a smallmouth. He's huge. Oh my goodness, take a look at this thing. That thing is huge. All right, let's... Uh... So Daryl's most of the way back to the boat ramp, so I want to make sure I get a picture of this thing so I could send it to him. Uh, I wanted him to know that I caught this fish. Stay down there for a minute until we get all set up here.
Okay, you stay there. Now, of course, he didn't sit still, and I had problems with turning X. So I put him on the clip until I was ready, and then I took him out and took some more pictures of him uh, using the Turning X app. I wanted to make sure I had both uh, both photos, uh, make sure I got the GPS data the way it should have been. So, um, <sighs> yeah. And, uh, okay. Here's the hero shot with a ridiculous headdress. I won't ever be able to use that picture, but there he goes back in the water. I'm not sure what happened to my GoPro. Obviously I thought he was still on because I was holding the fish in front of the GoPro, but it had stopped recording at that point for some reason. I have more problems with that damn thing. I need to get a new one. Well, I trolled all the way back um, doing the same technique and didn't get any other hits. So here I am at the boat ramp, pulling the boat out of the out of the water. Well, now's a nice time to tell you, hey, uh, you know, I could afford a new GoPro if I could re-monetize my channel. And the only way I could do that is to get more subscribers. So please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Share it all over the place. Um, all that would be very much appreciated. Uh, Thanks a lot for, for stopping by the channel, and uh, I appreciate you guys. <sighs>